This video is sponsored by Value Testers, best tool company on the web specializing in high-end HVAC heating electrical testing equipment. They have whatever you might need. Sign up for special discounts and pricing. Link in description below. Morning guys, June 19th, 2019. This one I gotta go, um, I put a couple of little Goodman ton and a half systems in this guy's house. Got a little ranch, one on each end of the house. I had, um, I had done replacements on a couple. There was a leak in York there and an old carrier, a round carrier system. I put a couple of little Goodmans in there up on snow legs, a little ton and a half a piece. It pulls, um, just pulls the return from the basement type of thing. It's up on blocks, the air handler. I want to go over there and check. I got to definitely take them apart because it's all pine trees there. So what happens is all the pine needles fall down and get inside the unit. I mean, a real shit show. So I go over there. He had, he had mice problems over there before a couple of times, so I'm curious if, this, if they're back. Well, the filter's like brand new. Looks brand new, good. My wife doesn't want too much dirt in this house. Piston. Oh, and I checked this one. This one's fine, too. So, uh, We're gonna check the units outside. Did you shut anything off over here? Well, make sure they're on. I did check them. I think they're on. Yeah, everything's on, so. We'll go check the units outside, make sure that they're clean, and then we'll run them. See what our uh, wet bulb is in here. Yeah, the, they've already hydro seated two sections in the back. So the way back is all hydro seated. Oh, well, next door? They hydro seated some last year, they hydro seated some this year. But they're going to hydro seed it and get the rest of it. But they have a pool, a pool isn't even ready yet. Give that a minute, we'll let it stabilize. We've got we to find out what that is. They already have their own. Yeah, so we're right around 60. Thanks. So we've got one on this end of the house, one on the other end of the house. Yeah, so it's not really it's not really dirty in there, so you did have them covered all winter. Yeah, oh yeah, they were covered all winter. Yeah, so they're not bad. And hit them with the holes, maybe. That's the biggest thing is in the fall, all them pine needles can get down in there. Oh. You got the holes here, or where's the holes? Uh, the holes in the. Uh, I want to take this up. It. I want to take this apart and check for for mice. Remember what happened last time? We had all them mice. Yeah, you got another nest in here. There's a nest in there? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, that's full. We'll have to take all that out and clean it out. I thought you said you were going to put mothballs in here. We did. Wow. We probably didn't put I mean, that's really stacked in there. We'll have to do something with tape or something, try to seal it. They're probably coming in up the top here. I don't know where the hell they're getting in here, but... You said you want it nice and hot. Yeah, I can see you drop mothballs down inside there, but man... So I cleaned all this nest out. I think they're coming in right here. I'm gonna put a... Uh, See that void there for the wires? I think that's where they're coming in. I gotta put another connector on this. That came off. Clean this all out. What a flipping mess, huh? We'll scoop all this out and then we'll hit it with the hose. See this yellow wire come yeah. off? They might have been up there playing around. See this right here? This goes across. Yeah, yeah. I think they're coming up. 
they might be coming up here somehow. Yeah. They, they could be. Who knows how they're getting in. I'm thinking they're getting in right from here, this, mm -hmm. this, this spot. Either that or through, that's a kind of tiny hole right there, maybe. Let me, uh, let me clean it and hit it with the holes and yeah. put this back on. We'll start it up. It's a Goodman. Good unit? Yeah, all right. They're fine. All right, so we got it all cleaned out, holes down. Yeah, good, put yeah. a new connect on that yellow one. It was broken. And I cleaned all this out. We put some some silver tape down there to try to stop them from going in there. I got this north ball, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right in there like that. And we'll see. It should be fine. It's below. Uh, let's see if we can get that in there. Let's see if that helps it. We'll put them mothballs in there by next year they'll be all gone. Yeah, so I put foil tape down there and put tape up here. And yeah, we got this mothballs, a little holes in the bag. We'll try that. Put the cover on. We'll see if that works. So it's about 70 out, I guess, 65. Yeah. And uh, it was six, it was, um, whip bulb was 60. But our gauge is hooked up over there. So it's a piston. I'm going to whip bulb was 60. And, uh, 70 outside here, right? So it should be around 16 or so. Hey Steve, he's having problems. You only want to turn it on? He's having problems. Yeah. What's he the problem? Run and, and turned it down and it did not go on. Nothing come on. Yeah. So you put it on cooling? The switch, I'll go do it. It, it should be on cooling because it's a different thermostat. 68. It's not a combination. Oh, okay. Somebody somebody play around with it. Should be 195. Hey, put it on cooling now. So you have somebody come play around. So it's on off. See, this is on off. You gotta turn out the cooling. Okay? That was on off. That was on off. You gotta turn out the cooling. Okay. And then it's on 80. So we have to turn it down below the what's the temperature in the room here. Says it's 69 and, uh, we'll or 60, I'm not sure what it's at. Just for now, we'll put hold. You sure this is the one and not that one? We wrote on top, AC. Here. Okay, AC, okay. all right. We're cooling on. 55 hold. It should come on. Who, who put this in? Um, may I save? Oh, I hear it running now. Yeah, this is the second year we've had that thermostat with the air conditioning. Should have a that should have a five minute delay on that for the outside unit. So the fans running inside now. All right, so the fans running. It was that mass save come changing the thermostats for him, I think. So it should be on delay, should kick in. It's a five minute delay on that thermostat for the condenser to kick in, so let's let's give it a minute. Oh, that's what it is. That's yeah. Delay. yeah, there's a delay on it, so. We'll see if it kicks in. We did check all the fuses downstairs. Everything's, all the breakers are on. <laughs> no two twenties of the unit, so <coughs> we'll have to see what's going on here with this. <coughs>
right here at 20 amps, not stripped. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's that, uh, something's tripping it right away. Maybe it's that, uh, not the balls. It's tripping downstairs, I don't know why. Let's try it again. Maybe it was those mothballs, I don't know. Let's try it again. They didn't seem to be hitting anywhere, but maybe. I don't know. Odd. Nope, oh, not staying on. Tripping right away. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Something to do with that, uh. We got the wires disconnected out there at the unit, so we'll see what happens now. We need a disconnect for that. That whip. Disconnecting right there and check it for voltage. Oh, it just arced. I just seen it arc. Yeah, so it's a bad, it's a bad wire. Do you see it arc? I did. I seen it arc. So either I change, pull these wires out, put new wires in there, or uh, a new whip. I seen it arc right there. That problem. <clears throat> Should be tripped again. But we'll fix it. I got wires in the truck. <clears throat> yeah, it's tripped again. So. Right, the guy's got tilt. This is electrician reused the old whip. Look at that. That was down inside the uh so I'll just I'll just uh run some new wires in there. Put that whip back in there and run some new wires. Crazy. Flipping nuts. Yeah oh, shit. Wow. It's bad. I got some red, black, and green wire, and I'll just tape it together and slide it in the other sleeve. Be fine. This all come out of a whip. For some reason, I kept it. I'll just tape it up. And it's longer than I need, so. I showed that to the homeowner. Hopefully, there's no other issues. All right, so we got new wires going down in there. We got them all tied in here. See if it fires up now. I'm gonna head it off downstairs, so we'll see if it stays on. See if that breaker stays on now. Yeah, it stayed on. There we go. Check the charge. All right, so 60 watt bulb and it's 70 outside, so 16 superheat. We're within three right there, we're good. Can be within five with superheat, three with subcooling. The TXV. I'm fine with that. I might come down a little bit more as it runs. We're within three there, we're good. That's fine. We'll take this off, get the caps on it, check the other one. No pitch, huh? It's 
So I call for 16. I'm within one and a half there. So we're good. Like I said, I might keep coming down as it runs longer. I put about a dozen mock balls in the bottom. I took them out of the bag. I just put them loose. I just put them loose in the bottom of this uh, this tray. Probably about a dozen of them. Whatever would fit in there. Alright guys, so I don't know why they put two thermostats. They should have just ran the one wire to one, but not my problem. We'll put that to Put that to 70, it's on hold and we'll shut it off for now. Because he don't need it right now, it's 68 in here. Yeah, he did, should have just used one thermostat and, and, and brought the wire in. Unless there's wire on both sides of the stud, I don't know how, why they did it like that. We'll try, check the other side out. Yeah, cool. Yeah. On hold for now. We're going to check the unit, but... You don't know why they put two thermostats in. I mean, I talk about being stupid. I got the disconnect off on this one, so it shouldn't start. The disconnect off on this one, so it shouldn't start. I'm gonna take it apart, see if there's any any critters in there before we start it up. I think there was critters in this side last year. I got it off right there. Look at that. We got some fried wires on this one. Holy shit, guy. Uh, it looks like a dead dead chipmunk in there or something hanging off. See the tail? Oh shit. I gotta get the homeowner. Oh good. Right up. Oh, is he still there? Looks like a well he's he's uh, I think it's a chipmunk. Yeah, yeah. You work on that one too? Yeah, do you wanna come take a look? I would. I just come in to say Yeah, he's stinking. He's flipping stinking over here, little bugger. I'm a flipping chipmunk. Not good. I was off, so. Flipping thing's gonna run or not. Look at this shit. Flipping chipmunk city here. How the hell are they getting in? He's stinking. Flipping guys needs a bath. He's dead. You can see where they chew the wires. See how they chew the wires, the little buggers? I'm clean them wires up. I don't know if them are going to be any good either. Try to clean them up a little bit. Flipping mess. So I clean up the wires. The Let's see if it starts. The compressor didn't start. I don't think the compressor started, just the fan. Might have a bad capacitor there. I mean, the guy was all fried on there. Probably a bad capacitor. We gotta check that. I mean, look at he's up there. He's up there having lunch. <laughs> so we got the common and the fan. Nothing. Oh, we got five there, and then the fan and the compressor should be 35. That should be good. We got a broken terminal there. Clean that up and put that back in. Should be all right. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like more stuff. So some kind of food in here or something. Flipping nasty shit. Could be chipmunks because they that bad. That was a. That looked like a, a chipmunk. Yeah, it was bigger than a rat. Looked like a chipmunk to me. You can see the stain on the door where we got fried. It's a stain on the door where we got fried where his tail was hanging. Yeah. <laughs> See? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's um 
That's evidence right there. Yeah. So we'll get this cleaned out the best we can. I might be able to just blow that shit right out. I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to try blowing that shit right out with the hose. Put some moth balls in there. Try to keep them out. They're coming in them bottom holes there. And you can see where they're climbing up right here. And then they climb up here. Right? And you can see how they're getting over the edge and down in. That's how they're doing it. So I'm going to block them holes there and I'm going to block this hole with tape, foil tape, plus the mothballs. And we'll try it again. Both of them. There was definitely, uh, you guys seen the little critter. Right. Pretty bad. Give this thing a good hosing. Hose it down good, got it the best I can. Good enough for this neighborhood. So I put some foil tape there. Put some foil tape up top there. And I put mothballs in there. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll put the cover on and see if it starts. Get it all cleaned off. Can't stop a good man. It's been running for about, I don't know. Eight, ten minutes maybe. You can see the soup heat's coming down, the suction pressure came up. That's why you have to charge these on a warm day. You really should. You want to let it run for a while to stabilize. 22 is a lot more forgiving than this 410A stuff. Let it run a little bit longer, it should drop some more. I'm looking for a run. 16 within five. So actually I'm fine right there. The, the fan's spinning really fast but on the camera it looks slow. Alright, I'm the same as the other side within one and a half. So that's close enough for this neighborhood. I'll take my gauges off and put those, put those good put those good caps back on there. Let it run long enough, it'll probably be right on the money. It's supposed to be 16, right? The soup heat was 16.3, so we're good. Dinner. All right, so what's running? I'm gonna go shut it off inside, and we'll be good. You want to leave those mothballs here, or you want them? Can I take the box of mothballs? Oh, hey, those are right here. Yeah, I'll take those. Yeah, I took the box. And put I them back in the box. I put those in the. Uh... Next year, we're gonna need more. They will probably be all dissolved by next year. Uh, I'll get my. Guy said he wanted the two thermostats. That's what he had told me. That's why they put them in. So I'm gonna put it on, put on 70, and I'll cut, shut it off for now. Well, this one's for heat, and this one's for cooling. Chipmunk. Looked like a chipmunk carcass to me. I don't think it was a mouse because mice usually don't uh, bring all those acorns in like that. And they usually chew more wires, mice do. That's been my um, been my experience with mice. And they're smaller. So that must have been a chipmunk. There was one in the second unit that was uh, he was he was stinking. He was stinking. He was a little, little crusty. He was a little stinker. Yeah, Josh.
job like that, you change a button, you change those. That's why I wear gloves, change a shitload of them gloves. I mean, keeping your hands clean. I must have went through 10 pairs of gloves working on that unit because of all that schmag around there and nastiness, dead guts, and pretty gross. I did tape everything up good with that foil tape. We'll see if that keeps them. I put mothballs in there. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll find out next year. At least uh, both units didn't have any leaks. There you go. Stay bright eight for you. You Goodman haters. No leaks yet. Three years.